What's up everybody, this is DJ Endo, and today I'm going to show you how to optimize your PC for DJing and music production. Nowadays, more and more DJs and producers are using PCs for music. What they might not realize is when you buy a PC, chances are the computer is optimized for word processing and gaming, and not necessarily music. So if you follow the steps in these videos, you can turn your PC from an average computer to a music-making machine. One of the main audio killers when DJing on a computer is Wi-Fi. Most of the time when DJs call me about audio dropouts in Traktor, the problem is their Wi-Fi is on. You should make it a habit to turn off your Wi-Fi before every gig. Here's how you can turn off your Wi-Fi in Windows 7. So I'm going to click on this little arrow here, click on the Wi-Fi icon, and I'm going to set my Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi off. The reason why you want to turn your Wi-Fi off is if your computer is trying to connect to an unstable network, you're going to get CPU spikes, which lead to audio dropouts and pops in the audio. Now here's some steps you can take to optimize your PC for real-time audio processing. The first thing you should do is update your BIOS. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System, which is a mini operating system that runs a chip on your mainboard. It controls how the mainboard components interact with each other. The BIOS update will improve the performance of your mainboard components by fixing any bugs. To update your BIOS, visit your computer manufacturer's webpage and download and install the latest BIOS update for your exact model number. For my Dell PC, I can download the BIOS update as well as many other recommended updates for my computer at support.dell.com. When I get to this page, I'll select the model of computer that I have and download the latest BIOS update. The next thing we're going to do is download the chipset drivers for our computer. A chipset is a group of important processor chips on your computer's mainboard which handles things like hard drive and USB operation. For me, I can download the chipset drivers on the same page in the Dell Support Downloads section. I also recommend downloading any of the recommended updates for your computer including operating system updates, audio drivers, CD firmware updates, network adapters, graphic devices, input device drivers, and any other drivers your computer manufacturer recommends that you download. Also make sure whatever music programs you're using are updated and that all of the drivers for your audio interface and controllers are updated as well. One rule to live by if you're doing music on a PC is to always use Osseo drivers and not direct sound or Wasapi. Make sure that whatever sound card you select says Osseo next to it. If you don't see this as an option, you can download Osseo for All at osseoforall.com. It's important to note that most of the sound cards that are used for DJing and production come with their own Osseo drivers that are much better than the generic Osseo drivers. The next thing we're going to do is figure out what may be causing the problems with your audio stream and hogging your computer's resources. There's a couple of free applications you can download that'll show you how much CPU you're using and also what processes are causing CPU spikes. The first program you should download is called DPC Latency Checker. Here's where you can download the program. This program will give you a graphical chart that will show you how much CPU your computer is using. Just install the application and run it for two minutes and you'll see a chart that shows you if your computer can handle the programs you're running or not. If the bars are green, that's good. If the bars are yellow or red, that means that some applications or processes might be straining your computer and causing audio dropouts or distortion. If your DPC latency monitor is showing yellow or red spikes, you'll want to download another program called LatencyMon. You can download it by going to resplitins.com slash latencymon. After you've launched LatencyMon, click on the play button to start analyzing the running processes on your computer. Then click on the Drivers tab and double click on the Highest Execution tab to sort by what processes are causing the highest values. On my screen you can see that everything is lower than 1, which means that none of the processes are problematic. However, multiple drivers that are lower than 1, like 0.8 and 0.4, may equal more than 1, which can be problematic, so you'll want to disable as many of these drivers as you can in the Windows Device Manager. To get to the Device Manager, right-click on the Computer icon and choose Properties, then Device Manager. In the Device Manager, find the processes that LatencyMon detected as a problem and disable it by right-clicking and choosing Disable. It's very important that you don't deactivate a device that Windows needs to run properly. 
Some of the devices you should never deactivate are System Time Keyboard, System CMOS slash Real Time Clock, Microsoft ACPI Compliant System, Numeric Data Processor, Primary IDE Channel, Secondary IDE Channel, Graphics Controller, and Ultra Storage ATA Storage Controllers. In general, you shouldn't deactivate anything that's listed in the system devices. Here are some devices that I disabled on my computer. In the Batteries branch, disable Microsoft ACPI Compliant Control Method Battery. In the Network Adapters branch, disable all of these to turn off your Wi-Fi. If you don't want to disable the Wi-Fi automatically, you must make sure to do it manually before every gig. Also disable any Bluetooth ports, infrared ports, video cameras, and any third-party component that's not an essential part of the system. Just be careful that you don't disable anything that Windows needs to run. In the Device Manager, I'd also right-click on every driver and make sure everything is updated. So another thing I like to do to optimize my computer is to disable everything in the startup items that I don't need running on my computer. I can do this by clicking on the start icon, and in the search window I'm going to type msconfig, and then click on it. Then I'm going to click on the startup tab, and I'm going to go through each one of these processes and decide what I don't need to launch when I start up my computer. So I'm going to disable Adobe Acrobat, Microsoft Office 2010, Dell Webcam Central, Dell Support Center, Java Platform SE Updater, and Creative Updrag. And then I'm going to hit Apply. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to configure our PC's energy settings. Even though your computer is optimized to save as much energy as possible, this can cause problems when running audio applications. Here's how to optimize your PC's energy settings properly for digital DJing and music production. First click on Start, Control Panel, System and Security, and Power Options. Now set the power scheme to higher performance. If this isn't available, click on Change Plan Settings. On the next page, set both turn off the display and put the computer to sleep to never. Now click change advanced power settings. In the window that opens, make sure you have the following settings. Set turn off hard disk after to never. Set sleep after to never. Set USB selective suspend setting to disabled. Set turn off display after to never. Set the minimum processor state setting to 100% and set maximum processor state to 100%. Now we're going to disable the power saving option of the USB ports so the USB ports never turn off. We can do this in the device manager. So we'll click on Start, Control Panel, System and Security, System, Device Manager. In the Universal Serial Bus Controller section, right-click each USB root hub and choose Properties, Power Management, and uncheck the Allow Computer to Turn Off This Device to Save Power option. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. 
Become a part of our community and make music.